What are we doing, Bill? Doing a podcast. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? Okay. You, what, what shall it be called? What? What shall it be called? Oh, what Geeks shall it be are called? Wired. Geeks yeah. are wired. That's the name of the podcast. I yeah. Thought. Or is it not that anymore? Did no, it's totally that. No, okay. you said what are we doing? So I just go, oh, okay. go with it. No, all right, fine. All right. It shall be called Geeks are Wired. Geeks are Wired. The Geeks are Wired. No, just drop, just drop the the. No, no, the. No, the. No, the. No, the. It's okay. not like the Facebook. It's not the fa- <laughs> It's not the Facebook either. It's just Facebook. Geeks, yes. Geeks are Wired is the uh, podcast that's sponsored by Dave, right? He's pretty great. Well, actually, so that's something else. I've done some updates on our website, which we're also trying to get a ne- regular non-Podbean website up. And we have a supporter section. Ooh. So our patrons are on our supporter section. Yay. Just Dave. No, it's actually, it's not just Dave. We have a couple of supporters. Do we so really now? Go to our supporter section. No, Dave's just our, you know, uh, technical appetizer, but not, I don't know. He's a great supporter. He's the greatest. <laughs> but I. Uh, Hashtag Dave is great. Yes. <laughs> so, welcome to Geeks Are Wired, our normal startup, I guess, where you talk about video mm-hmm. games, movies, TV, comic books, technology, and TLDR, the Internet of Things. And I am one of your hosts, Bill, and this week we have Anthony. Hi. And Joey. Hello. And you can help support us, as we said, through, uh, through patreon.com slash geeks are wired, where you can also get access to the podcast early, access to the live recording, and uh, chat with us on our Discord page. The Discord. The Discord. You also can send us an email at geeksawired at gmail.com or give us a call and leave a message or text us at 801-896-4335. Which spells geek. Yeah. The last four characters do at least. Yes. Yes. Okay. This is a number 337. Is that right? Yes. Episode 337, six and a half years later. <laughs> Man, you've been doing this for a minute. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Yeah, actually, was talking to some people, was giving them, I have cards, I'm fancy like that. And they're like, wow. <laughs> 337 uh, episodes is a little bit more than a hobby. I know, not, not according to the government. <laughs> 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 not when it's a massive, you know, negative. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, we're not, we're not, we're not, we'll take your money when you start making it, but we're not giving you anything back. <laughs> Youch. So I guess, you know, as long as I, I guess Patreon, if it keeps going bigger, then or regular supporters, advertisers. You could do this full time. Yeah. I'd really have to make way more money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> way more money and put out way more content. Yes. Of course, if I did full time, I'd put out more content. Yeah. Once a week, it's just kind of like, eh. So. It's fun. Yeah, this is fun, everybody. I hope you still enjoy it. The the download numbers say that some many, actually many people do. I'll go with that. I appreciate that. Glad you all enjoy us week to week. I think my tea's it's, done, or does it have to steep longer? Uh, usually tea steeps for like two to five minutes, depending on it. Okay, so I I decided to get a giant box of stash tea, double bergamot Earl Grey. So Anthony got some. I've never had Earl Grey that I know of. So this is the other thing also. It's a double bergamot, which means it's Earl Grey strong. It smells strong. Yeah. It's strong, I'll admit. I enjoy it. I, I, I'm more after the make sure the hot water's not super hot still. It's it's definitely super hot. Yeah. So we're going to wait more still. So you might also, uh, with Earl Grey, you might want to throw away the tea bag eventually because it seeps. It keeps steeping, and it gets well, yeah, stronger. That's, that's what tea does. <laughs> no, but Earl Grey, you know, when you have a peppermint tea, you just kind of like grow in the peppermint. You're like, oh, this is still enjoyable. Sometimes it might grow a little extra peppermint. Earl Grey's like, wow, this is strong. Wow, this this just, yeah, we got to throw away the tea bag. <laughs> <laughs> this just keep going. Too strong. So, yeah, when the tea cools down enough, I will take a drink, and yeah. then I will let you know how it is. All right. And everyone else, apparently. <laughs> Why not? We ask question live on the podcast. I figured, why not? Let the listeners know. <laughs> the, so, the cup says forest life on it. Yes. Okay. It's an outdoorsy cup. All right. Uh, now uh, enough squirrel. 
What do you mean? Squirrels are awesome, especially when they're shiny. <laughs> That's a shiny squirrel? What about a chocolate, chocolate squirrel? It's only during Easter. Oh. Okay. And they're hollow. And they're hollow? Not, yeah. a, not all of them. Uh, no, those are know. the good ones. They're really expensive. Yeah. <laughs> if, if you bite into a squirrel and it's not hollow, it might not be chocolate. Oh, yes. It might be. You might have other problems. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, let's uh, get the show rolling about five and a half minutes through. It's like record starting time, honestly. Not not the long one, the shorter one. <laughs> so we're going to talk about Soldier Boy the whole time again? No, that was last week. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think he's uh, finally dropped off the news. <laughs> you had to get me on. Actually, so his website's been taken down. Oh, like completely. <laughs> yeah. Okay. As I, and which I kind of sort of posted a little bit in the show notes. So go to it. Oh, you want to go to it now? I want to go to it. I want to see it. Okay. It, it, um, it's down. You can't see it. Well, I'm just looking to see if so it's... So, it is still down. So, when oops, I posted... Something went wrong. So, when we talked about it... What? I'm just saying, oops, something went wrong. Oh, yeah. That's their thing. That's where, so, when we recorded last week, Soja Boy is up. That's what we were talking about. When I posted to try to, like, reference things, <laughs> it was down. Oh. So, by the time I posted it Thursday, that... And apparently the news... So, I guess you got me on this now. <laughs> The, apparently, somebody that used to work for him that still had access to his website ended up doing some things to t- uh, take it down. Huh. Yeah. That's good. So this isn't out of him being lost This is a disgruntled worker that uh, they should have had more security with, after they're gone, remove their access. Maybe they're sick of being paid in, uh, like, soldier watches. Yeah. Soldier cash. <laughs> The soldier dollars. U.S. currency. Yes. <laughs> dollar, dollar, bill. Oh, no, no. Soldier coin. Soldier coin? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that, that might already be a, a, a coin. You know, oh, it probably is. Let's, let's find out. Let's see. If not, we uh, just gave them the idea, and uh, we trademarked it. I don't know if we can do that. Uh, he's... No, no, he just... He apparently has a lot of Bitcoin stuff. He doesn't hasn't made soldier coin yet. I guess there's coin do. I don't he know. He did release a song called, titled Bitcoin. Yeah, so that's a thing. And we've talked about Soldier Boy for way too many weeks. Next <laughs> time on Soldier Boy is Wired. Like I said, we just have a Soldier Boy corner. That was the the corner of this episode. We we have quarters now? <laughs> yes. We have Soldier Boy corner and then we also have a uh, that's it so far. We have a couple more corners to fill. We're going to be adding corners. Okay. We are t- now taking requests for those corners. <laughs> or they'll just be brought up. Anthony will remind us about them. <laughs> yeah. I'll remember. Okay. Uh, what's yonder? I, I actually don't remember. It means over there. Yonder? Uh, I'm going to have to look spaces. back into this because I don't quite remember what this was. We'll okay. come back to that. We'll come back to Yonder. Uh, we may, maybe this episode, maybe the next one. I was going to go to... Oh, the YouTube TV? Yes, YouTube TV is fi- has finally launched after two years. Nationwide. At least oh. if you're in the U.S. That to 98% of the U.S. So as long as you're not the 2%, you yes. got it. We thought we were the 2% per second, and I didn't tell, you know... The, these two that what I meant when I said two percent, they're like, "What do you mean you're two the two percent?" <laughs> well, first you went off with like, "Oh, I think we're the two percent," and they're like, "Nope, we're the ninety eight percent." Yeah, I was like, "Oh, I put in the wrong zip code." So I have no idea what you were talking about. Uh, but of this ninety eight percent, there is still like another five percent or ten percent that only get three of the four local networks, and that's the ABC, CBS, Fox, and NBC. That doesn't count any of the other sub local networks that may be in certain areas, or one that I think it should be considered local, which is CW. But CW, I like I said nowadays is more. I feel like Fox was back in the nineties, like mid to early nineties. So it's just a, it's just kind of rebroadcast by a local place. I guess I don't know because yeah, they they don't really have news, but they definitely have like a local time and local stuff. Uh, but okay. So this also with YouTube TV, it more can work for Chromecast, all this other stuff. But you can watch live TV. You can get uh, unlimited DVR, and apparently some shows rebroadcast without too many issues. To then 
uh, all that for forty dollars a month. The unlimited DVR sounds really cool because if you can find most of your shows on there, and then you have them forever. Yes. So that's, that that's pretty cool. That's that's way better than a like a set top box DVR. Oh, I was wrong. It's not even ten percent or five percent. It's nineteen markets out of the hundred and ninety five markets that don't get all four locals. Okay, I found a new corner. It is now T corner. <laughs> T update. It was pretty okay. Okay. Is it strong? No, not really. Okay. It seemed kind of watered down. Oh, you can put the T bag back in. Let I got me. Let's fine. steep some more. You think it's weak? That's the nice thing about tea. Like coffee, you think it's weak. It's like, well, that's what I'm stuck with. Yeah. Tea, it's like it's weak. Well, just leave it in there. <laughs> leave it in there. Okay. Tea corner done. Yes. Tea corner out. <laughs> Uh, so you can check out your local, or you find your zip code, and that's where like, it says what do you have available. We, I don't know, so comparing, oh, which goes into another one, which we also will tie in, which goes with Hulu, along with Netflix changing their prices. They went up in cost. So everyone's raising prices. No, Net Hulu has Hulu dropped their price on their commercial one, so it's now five ninety nine for their low commercials included version. I hate commercials so much. I know that's <laughs> why I pay for the the what thirteen dollar one, the middle one. I think it's like I thought it was fifteen. Are, are they going to drop the price on it, that one? It is not. no, no. They're doing nothing with that. Dang. Uh. So it's uh. So it says oh, it's eleven ninety nine per month with the no commercials. The Hulu Spotify is twelve ninety nine. Both of those do not change. But uh, their you their Hulu Live does go up to forty five dollars from forty. They actually rate so the actual direct competitor against Google's and other ones like that went up in price. So that's where they're making the money back because they're not adding more commercials. Yeah, because even even Sling's premium one is forty. I feel like that's the the sweet spot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's curious that they rose the price there. They must think they're five dollars better. Exactly. Makes me kind of question: Was it Directv? Oh yeah, Directv does have Directv now. Yeah, direct, That's what it's called. Yeah. Well, Dish owns who, uh, Sling. Sling. Yeah. And I think they may have bought that. That's why it's yeah, still branded Sling. Because mm-hmm. before they were just set top boxes that you that they were trying to push stuff over the internet, and then Dish was like, "We want that." So they bought it. They, but not to be confused with if you subscribe to Dish or DirecTV with their rebroadcast, because there is Dish anywhere, but you have to be an actual Dish subscriber. Mm-hmm. It's a different way to get online. Whereas uh, DirecTV now, you don't have to be a DirecTV subscriber. You can just get it, I think, if I understood correctly. Oh, yeah. DirecTV now. Like I said, DirecTV now. Don't get it. Because DirecTV did the same thing as uh, HBO did, where HBO Go is you're an HBO subscriber through a mm-hmm. cable or disc subscriber mm-hmm. well hbo now is the i don't have in, i don't have a cable subscription yeah. i want to pay you directly yeah that's yeah and i think that's how the direct tv now is yes you don't have to have a cable subscription yes okay. that's correct yeah i do like the idea of uh just cable through the internet but i don't really like the idea of hey here's you know base price and then a la carte like if everything was a la carte i'd be pretty cool with that i also don't like the idea that yeah internet or tv through the internet's fine unless you're on a metered connection yes there's that yeah cable one uh, 300 gigs a month on their base plan right oh but if you want you can uh get unlimited by ha- letting them charge you an additional 15 dollars a month is, is that all they charge for unlimited now Do, yeah they changed your their current plan yeah they changed it Oh man, I might need to like cancel and, and resubscribe because right now I'm paying like 112 for I think 600 gig is what mm-hmm. I get. Hmm. I was gonna. Um, but uh, the other thing is that's almost worth it if you're not if you don't have the problem of going over as often. It's almost worth it to just upgrade to the next one, and then you get faster speeds. It's, kind of it's almost worthwhile, but I'm fine with the slower speeds as long as I could have the bandwidth. Yes. 
Yeah. Okay, I can see that. So your sling thing, you were talking about like 25. Do you get locals? I'm not sure on that one. Yeah, because I don't think... Local now. No, no, no. So, so does this one. Where'd it go? The... It's in here somewhere. There, local now is not your local. Oh, is that? No, it's actually a channel. I saw that on. Uh, Go to their HBO. FAQ. I, I, I don't see it on the screen. I was gonna have you look for it. I literally saw it when I was looking at this earlier. Which one? Uh, and just scroll, 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 scroll. Oh, my scroll. Oh, and also though with Sling and Direct TV now, both of those have the uh, specials where. Subscribe, pay in advance, or whatever. Get free Rokus, which f- I have to admit is Look not for the word local. Oh, okay. That's what you're after. I'm like... No, I mean, I just thought about that. Yeah, no, that's a smart thing to do. Uh, that one's not where around. I don't know where that one did. Wow, this is a great... They hide it. Yeah, I think it's inside of these. Yeah. They have uh, They have the news. The world news. For an extra five bucks. Oh, look, locals. Hey, look, there's locals. Only NBC and Fox with stream with Sling Blue. Yes. And only in select... Com- oh, there. Oh, you can yeah. get... So you can get the other two, maybe. Possibly. Put in your zip. Wow, there's so much I don't stuff. think you need to do the address. I think you just need the zip. Nope, I have to. Well, that's dumb. I know. Sur- surfing the internet over the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> That's how this works. I'm going to drink more tea. I like tea. <laughs> it's warm. So, yeah. The 25, 30, and I still think it's, wow. Oh, and then there's always Telemundo, you know, broadcast. So, oh, wow. What? Do you get, you have sling. I do have sling. Do you get CBS? All access one, their their premium one. I guess so. Or is it an add on? I guess. I think it's an add on. Yeah, because I was like, that yeah. would not be terrible because they charge like twelve bucks for that. I think. Dang. Yeah, for one channel. Must have some pretty decent shows on it. Uh, Star Trek Discovery, that is their big thing. They basically went, we are going to make a Star Trek show and only make it available online, and people will come in droves. So people kind of showed up, and, kind and of. you still got pirated a lot. Hey, I mean, if the internet shows up a little bit, it's still <laughs> quite a few people. Yeah, it is. True. Okay, it wasn't as much as they were wanting, but, you know, I know some of that from, like... Game of Thrones. Well, no, Game of Thrones, the internet shows up and pirates. All, like, all mm-hmm. on. But I'm talking, like, with uh, a bunch of movies, they're like, people are like, we, we expect 10 bajillion dollars. We only made 2 bajillion dollars. Yeah. This movie is a failure. Don't d- ignore the bajillion part. <laughs> Not having the shows online kind of kills shows, yeah. though, because like the Expanse got canceled because people don't have sci-fi to watch it on, but people really like watching it, so they were pirating it a lot. Yeah, a lot of shows end up recovering once they get onto a uh, streaming platform. So yeah. they might not have the best like broadcast numbers, but once they get onto some platform, they they get decent views later. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that also happens with Netflix, which also is why Netflix is now releasing their numbers on how they do go. Hey, Hollywood, let's play nice. Look at how, you know, we're willing to pay. Work with us. We're going to have competition. Work with us. We're good. We're awesome. (laughs) Yeah, it's kind of interesting seeing all these, uh, like, companies try to become the next Netflix. Like, Amazon's just pumping money into it. YouTube's pumping money into it now. Like, they're going to be at a point where they start paying to produce shows like what Netflix and Amazon are doing. Yeah. So I also double check this. I realize the symbols. No, we do not get any locals in this area. So if you care about the locals, oh, which is the reason annoying. I subscribe to Hulu. So is this basically saying you have to use an, an antenna? Yes. Then why even show them? I don't know. Actually, that's <laughs> even weird that they should CBS. I'm like, why? It, it's kind of like when you subscribe to some one of the dish providers back in the day. You can get locals with an antenna. They used to do that. Oh, look. You can get the antenna. Ooh, free antenna offer. <laughs> an indoor antenna. Which only one channel works with that. Only one of them? Only one of them. Yeah, you need an outdoor for the other three. 
Actually, not even three. Like three of the five. Apparently, we can't get one of them at all. Unless you have CBS All Access. Yes. <laughs> this is this deal is getting worse and worse. You know, this is just how like all technology comes back around. I mean, antennas are useful again. I know. Actually, I, that's why I. That's the only reason I get one of the channels. The other thing is I have to adjust every once in a while. Like, oh, it's it's cloudy. Let's readjust it. Oh, there's four people in the living room. Let's you know shift it around. <laughs> Somebody hold it above their head. No, don't move. <laughs> right. I didn't even look at uh, direct TVs. Either way, you can still get free. Also $40 a month. Yeah. You're right. That is a sweet spot. Well, that's their starting one. That's their bottom package. Oh, but yeah. you still get 65 you get, channels. Wow, you get quite the package set up. Oh, we've got to look at that with uh, um, slings. Whatever theirs were. Oh, yeah, there's this 40 for all the sports channels. All of it. Netflix yeah. and Amazon are a hell of a deal compared to these. Well, okay, so Amazon though is, which also Amazon has realized they they everything is all about the free two day delivery. If they lose that at all for any point, which they are, there's apparently some hiccups about it right now. Like some of the delivery might not be possible. Well, I, I've well, had plenty of things where you know it says order within the next eighteen hours and it can be available with two day shipping and you'll get it in three weeks. Yeah. Uh, and so, I mean, it, it's, it's the two-day shipping, but it's it's not going to ship until, you know, yeah. Yeah. two Fridays from now. I think I've, like, I think a while, like about a year ago, I noticed that some things were doing three days, three-day shipping. Maybe it was the bigger ticket items, though. Oh, here's your DVR. $5. Oh. So it's $5 extra. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I don't know. I think YouTube TV still sounds like a better deal. Yeah, actually, it's kind, of, it's kind of funny on this. They're actually bashing YouTube TV. Oh, I forgot about PlayStation View. There's another one. They're like, you only can... Oh, yeah, I forgot about them. I know. But only if you can get a PlayStation. Actually, so how... Do you think they're going to be able to continue to do their little channel thing where Apple is officially letting that go to other devices? Letting what go to other devices? Apple TV is going to be on... Non Apple TVs. Yes, non Apple. Oh, like their TV. That's a pretty big jump. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hope that that will encourage Amazon to break their hold on their Amazon Prime because you can't cast that on Chromecasts. Yeah, and you can't get Google on uh, Fire Sticks, or you can't get YouTube on Fire Sticks. So it's they're having a fight. Yeah, Yeah, it's a fight. Mom and Dad are fighting. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, I can't remember who started what, but. They've just been retaliating ever since. I don't know. I think there may have been even... It might have even been about them pulling something. There may have just been like Google said, hey, you're using YouTube. By the way, because you're using this, you actually have to allow certain regulations and certain, you know, <gasps> our, our, our metrics to go through. And Amazon's like, no. And they're like, fine, we're pulling it. I think what started it was Amazon decided to not sell Chromecast devices because they said no, it no, wasn't that, compatible that with... That YouTube thing happened before that. Did it? Yeah, because that Chromecast thing is also, and vice versa, has been proven that they, they work. <laughs> I was like, so, oh, TV 4K. There's your Apple TV, too. I, I really like, like the Apple TV. I like it a lot. How much do you pay for it? I think it was 150. Oh, it's just the hardware. Mm-hmm. Or oh, I'm talking about like the live TV. I don't know if they offer that yet. Yeah, right I now. I think they've only been talking oh, about it. Oh, I thought that finally yeah. came out with that. My understanding of it is it's just a very fancy they... box you plug into your TV, and then you have a nice uh, Siri assisted remote, right? So there's that the the remote's a touchpad, or the top of it is, and. It also acts as a HomeKit hub if you use home, use HomeKit. There's a lot of stuff for it. I really like it, and you can ca- like if you have a lot of Apple devices, it makes sense to get it because you can just do screen mirroring or just cast stuff randomly up there. It's a lot more baked in than a Chromecast would be for an Apple device. But if you're all Android, you're not gonna get much out of it. Yeah, that's what I've heard. But besides I've... just streaming. I have heard that it's really nice hardware. Um, if you got like Plex, it's not going to stutter at all. I also forgot. There's also the other stuff, like Roku. 
has their own little channel and stuff. Uh, also, if you like Rooster Teeth, the Rooster Teeth app is on Apple TV. It's not on PlayStation. I that's why I have an Xbox. By that. <laughs> is that on Xbox? No, that's why I have an Xbox. Xbox does everything. Is it isn't on Xbox? I though? don't know. I haven't turned my Xbox on in like... I don't know. Actually, I, wa- I turned it on to watch Once Upon a Deadpool. The last time I turned on my <laughs> Xbox, it was accidentally because my foot hit it. <laughs> And it scared me. <laughs> I, That's rough. I know. I, I have. I, I own two Xboxes. They were great during their time, uh, w- because they're all because they have stopped Cortana support, and I've gotten other devices that do better jobs. It basically turned into my DVD or my Blu-ray player. Hey, uh, you use it for uh, Jackbox games, oh, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. There's that. I do have. I guess I and I, I use it for Party Night. Yeah, Party Night, and I do have an Xbox Gold account, so I get my. You know, four free games a month, I think. Four, six, something. Do do you play those games? Or do you just get them? So one of the Jackboxes, I think, was. And then there's been a few others. So they, they happen. But did you ever play the speedrun game? Uh, I think speed so, run? yeah. That was a free game. That's fun. I like it. Yeah. And the, thing, the other reason I like the Xboxes over Playstations is Playstations, you pay the monthly subscription. The moment you stop... Uh, you get tons of games. The moment you stop play, paying, they're gone. Xbox Gold... Yeah, you know, emphasis very much Xbox Gold. You get the free games, and you get to keep them. They're permanent, while Xbox, or whatever their subscription plan is, you get the games in their giant collection for as long as they have. But on the other side, on this giant collection, uh, if it is a Microsoft game on day one release, you get that game. So, like the Pirates game, well, I was subscribing to it about, at the time last year, and I was like, hey, yeah. Oh yeah, that's that game I got you really into, and then I never played it. Yeah, I think I played it more. Uh, I actually, I, I kind of sort of got seasick, all, kind of at points, which was a thing. I found out seasick. Yeah, because your ship's kind of like game? yeah, floating down. And you're just like sitting there watching. You're like Whoa. the physics are really good as far as that goes. That's pretty cool. I, know. I, I really wanted to like that game, but the PvP would just ruin it. Remember, I, I got destroyed, and then I made friends. And then did they just did they destroy you? No, we made plans. We we helped each other dig each other's treasures up. I know, but did they did they then murder you and take your treasure? No. Okay. Remember, I I have great luck. Like one person shot <sighs> the right. put stuff at me. I respawned. I swam over to their boat, mm-hmm. pulled the anchor, jumped off the ship, swam back to mine, took off. <laughs> and oh, then yeah. I think they 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 got on my ship. All right, no, I dropped. I was so there's. I pulled the anchor up and dropped the sails. So their ship took off on them. Got back to mine. I think they got on my ship. So they killed me, and then I respawned on my ship. So I actually had to. They, they had a problem of I was spawning right on, on top of them. Plus, right. I mean, you get to play as Captain Bill. That's yes. pretty yeah, cool. He is the captain. <laughs> now, uh, one of the favorite things I liked about that game though was that they had a cursed chest. Yes. That would basically it would cry, and if you had it on your ship, it would slowly fill your ship with water. And then it would sink. That's pretty cool. So if you took that to someone else's ship and, and put it at the down. no, you just like put it at the top, like at the oh, at the mast or the, mast, the crow's nest, the crow's nest, and then just leave it there. They their ship is filling with water. They have no idea why. I forgot that was the other experience I had. Uh, apparently, I had run into something and I went to go turn in a chest or turn my, my gold, and I see somebody running off my ship. I'm like, what's going on? And I'm like running. I'm like, what? And they're actually like. My because I had damaged my ship, they were actually pulling water out of my ship for me. So I'm like, "Oh, we'll heal this up. Thanks." <laughs> that that that's too much luck, Bill. No one's that lucky, Bill is. Uh, I, I I put a he lot of when I was created, I put a lot of points into yeah, luck. He didn't he didn't get <laughs> a twenty, all of it but in luck. <laughs> he's got he's got a nineteen. Luck and optimism. Yes. <laughs> it's a Probably solid combo. a fair bit of a charisma too. I like to think so. <laughs> that goes with the optimism though. <laughs> Nothing in intelligence. He's just likable. Yes. <laughs> Maybe with a I don't know. All right. Where Listen, were we? <laughs> we're here. We're on a podcast. We're we're talking and people seem to enjoy it. <laughs> uh cell phones. Oh yeah, this thing. We there there's cell phones that fold in half. There's cell phones that are the size of Cadillacs. There's and... cell phones for your cell phones. Yep. There's cell phones from Soldier Boy. <laughs> no, not anymore. The website's down. Now, there's a cell phone that uh, doesn't have any buttons or it's ports a zero. or zero. holes in it. 
Yeah, I'm super, actually slightly surprised. It has a camera. Does that count as a as a port or a hole? It doesn't have speakers. Why would it have a camera? I really I was surprised. No, it has speakers. They're behind the screen. Is okay. the camera also behind the screen? Oh. Actually, and what's the hole in the back for? I don't know. I'm like, oh, wait a man. second. There's a hole we lied in the, the bucket. Viewers. It's got some <laughs> holes. Uh, so it has no physical buttons, speaker cutout, and no USB port. So it doesn't have a speaker cutout. Still don't know what that thing that looks like it's on the back for. It almost looks like a fingerprint scanner, but that's what the front, it's on the screen. Maybe it's one of those uh, like laser range finders for the fancy new camera tech. Anyway, there's your information about your speaker that's under the display. Oh, it uses a piezoelectric one, huh? Transducer under the display. That's fancy. So I have to admit, I have no clue what that means. I have no idea either. <laughs> so, so piezoelectric, it's instead of using like your standard speaker, it like vibrates. And then because it vibrates, it will resonate through ah. the thing that you're vibrating against. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. No, that doesn't. I mean, sort of. But, but yeah, it's just like the Wikipedia of it. Well, that's kind of cool. Yeah. So it's yeah, kind of like the idea, like what a speaker does is literally the idea, but you could use other things besides a speaker. I think, if I understand, if I, if I did this That right. was the thing at um, the uh, um, Snake River Fandom Con. There was the, they had at the, that one booth. Yeah, they had this uh, uh, ISU physics department there. Where they made like that weird uh, speaker made out of a box. Yeah. Yeah. There's some really cool stuff that all hooked up in. Did you ever take pictures of that? I don't know. I, I've seen some things that you like slap it on a window and the window becomes the uh, speaker. Yeah, they, yeah. it's like, like that. I've also Pretty heard sure. of stuff like that where it, on government buildings that have security or because you can listen to people talking in a room by uh, the vibrations on the window. So they'll add something to the window that so it creates vibrations. Gotcha. Yeah. That that's pretty smart. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of surprised that uh like Apple's not moving in this direction. I mean, I mean, uh, they probably are. Uh, unboxing an iPhone where it's just a, a slab of of aluminum and glass. <laughs> that would be pretty cool, you know, no buttons, no nothing. So I was disappointed. So it ha- it does not have a notch, but it, it still has a chin and a head. So the camera is super teeny tiny up top section. See, I don't get the point of curving the bottom. I don't get the point of curving the edges of the screen if they're not going to go all the way to the edge. I know because th- at this point you 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 got a chin. Mm-hmm. You got a chin for no reason. I, I don't understand curving the edges at all unless you're going to wrap around the entire phone. I so mean, you, so you're no, I mean the holding. on the the corner. Oh, oh, you mean the rounded? Yeah, corners, the rounded, not but, the rounded but, edge. But so no, you, yeah, you're, you're right. You, this you, one you is. You said is, your phone. You, in other words, you want your phone to be sharp corners. Use it as a. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> so, I'm fine with the actual physical device being cur- cor- like curved around the corners. Yeah. The screen, because this has like I don't know how big the chin is, but it's the screen doesn't go all the way down to the bottom. I don't know. It looks huge. I, I think it, it cleans up the look a little bit, though, because you have the rounded edge and Maybe, the rounded corner. I just feel, and I it's think, just wasted space to me. I think the yeah, sharp wrist. edge with the rounded corner oh, or see. rounded edge would look weird. Yeah, it's just like the actual LCD itself. Like Because it doesn't go all the way to the bottom, it, in my opinion, has no need for it to be curved. But. You know, it's probably just a square LCD with a, uh, a, a mask that's rounded. You're yeah. probably not wrong. Oh yeah, so the wireless charging way. eighteen watt, a ridiculously amount. Yeah, that's of that's wireless power. It's enough to light a room. <laughs> it's got a twenty megapixel camera. It's a, almost six inches. Twenty megapixel. Yeah. That's pretty good. Well, it's on the back one, so it's twelve and twenty for the back. Oh, it is a twenty megapixel selfie front end. What? That's, yeah, you need all them that's megapixels. Impressive. Yeah, the wireless charging is pretty cool for the slab, though. That way you just set it down, whatever. Well, that also... Okay, so I, I, the only thing I have against wireless charging, I like my pop socket. Yeah. And my pop socket is made of aluminum. Well, even if it's not, it adds too much... Uh, it adds distance, but you can usually get over that... By so, placing it on the mat, weird, yeah. Like, well, not, place it on the mat, always. cold temperatures, but there's, there's ones who that can broadcast further out. And like if I take my metal 
piece off. Like, I don't have the newer pop sockets that actually remove the entire bottom piece. You have to, piece. like, pop it out. I can, yeah, I can pop out the metal piece. So, it, like, the idea you could change out the, the cover or mm-hmm. the pop socket thing. If I take off the metal and then fold it up where it it's works. as thin, yeah, it works. As I'm activating all of my phone. It still works. So, in its normal flatness. Hmm. So I know that absolutely my piece of my chunk of metal is blocking my wireless charging, and that is the thing I have to admit on this. Yeah, my, and where you can't charge it. My only gripe with wireless charging is all the the pads for charging are so small that if you set your phone down and you don't do it perfectly, it falls they off. just agree to not charge. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then the next day you have a dead battery. Yeah, that would yeah that would suck. That's the, that's why you get multiple chargers. Just line them up. It probably won't break your phone. So, oh, also with this, I forgot. So this has no announced date yet or price. But I also had forgot. So I usually don't get all talk about government or politics or anything. But this is kind of affecting the tech sector a lot. And actually a lot of things. So because the government has been shut down, the that means that all, everything that uh, uses any type of wireless technology, cellular, Wi-Fi, Z-Wave, Zigbee, all that, they can't get them, they can't get the stuff put out because they can't get it registered to the FCC. It's that like is, new devices. Yeah, for devices. Anything that the people have been planning on researching or releasing this year because of this quarter has already been hiccuped, actually is pushing everything out at least one whole quarter. Is this why AT and T has fake five G, or is this just no? No, no they, gonna... they got that fake five G out last year. Oh, okay. yeah, they got that pre. So they have no one to up. blame for that. But then and it's five. Oh. It's five G E. Come on, get it right. Five G. <laughs> and, and Verizon has their fake ish five G, and so does I think somebody else. Sprint. Yeah, probably. T-Mobile. Real phones, fake 5G. Yeah. Actually, no, T-Mobile was making fun of them. Yeah. Well, they didn't also try to make their fake-ish. Well, they're, they're we're, we're rolling out 5G to you know, that, that block right there. <laughs> That's what Verizon did. Yes. Yeah, stupid. So And now they got 10G. Yeah. Oh, also with, I'm actually surprised they're doing this with Wi-Fi. That's the other thing. Did you guys hear about Wi-Fi's name changes? They're still offering B and A. Well, that's, well, that's everything that this uh, this chipset supports. So it supports A, B, G, N, and then A, C. So why? Because instead of adding, because actually A, C is now the old one. Yes. Yeah, it is. Um, uh, I heard about this. I don't remember so, so what's anything the, about what's it. What's the though. new one? I think it's okay. So, uh, I guess I should go with standards. Um, so I think it's like A Z or A Q or something like that. It makes Just sense because click on the AOTech one. everything's moving to wireless there's right now. Tech, yeah. Like you don't want to have to wire your whole house. You want to have it wireless, right? I know, but there's so many standards coming out. They actually are starting to well, this one doesn't have that either. Alright, then never mind, go back. Um <laughs> with, with really should have had this more prepped up more. Uh, Could always do some uh, editing magic and editing magic. Here we're doing editing magic. So literally, after editing magic, we find it. So no, you're you're. It, it took like two minutes. Okay, everything two, now. Is no, no, it took after third, editing magic. Half a second. It's magic. No, just it's just, just magic. I just knew. Uh so this is as of late last year, though, too. Yeah. So because instead of calling it. Uh, Wi-Fi 802.11n or 802.11ac or whatever else, they're now adding numbers, which they decided to start with four because that's just a great number to start with. Don't worry. Well, they'll probably work back to one eventually. No, 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 no. <laughs> so it's Wi-Fi 4 because that's N. I'm going to guess Wi-Fi 3 would have been G. Doesn't exist. No, it doesn't I know. exist. They started with four. I know. I'm pretty sure three would have been G. Yeah, it would have been A, B, G, Two N. would have been B, and then one would have been A. A B G, 
Isn't there A B G N and then, C. and then A C? No, the C didn't exist. Oh, yeah. So it, it it's okay. like they wanted the reason to why... the, uh, <laughs> the Android numbering scheme, but oh, they yeah. didn't think of the alphabet. They're ah. just like let's haphazardly name them and yeah, then renumber so them later. The and, reason but why don't worry about their standards because A and B don't and because A follows, uh, ends. No, yeah, A follows N st- uh, style bandwidth, but B is a totally different te- type of technology. Yeah. 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 So, no. The, the reason why they <laughs> oh, do, yeah. like, they were doing like N, and then by the time A C came about, like, because they just go down on the alphabet until mm-hmm. they get to Z, and then they started over, and then they started doing A A A B A C. So that's why we had A C, and that's why the next one is A X, because okay. they kept it, they kept iterating until they found one that worked. Ah. It's like different revision numbers is so how that, I understand that, it. So that's why they're doing the numbering system yes. because instead of going, you know, Wi Fi or was it? uh I forgot what Wi-Fi is standard, like E or EAA. IEEE. IEEE uh, 802.11 11 AX. Instead of saying that giant thing, you say Wi-Fi 6. Yep. So so really what they do is they iterate in the background, and mm-hmm. then a, a Just victor like appears, numbers. and they're like, this is going to be the industry standard. Yes. Yeah. It doesn't matter that it's some weird number and whatever. You just call it Wi-Fi 6. Yeah. So along with that, though, so even though Wi-Fi 6 exists, don't go hunting it down. I guarantee nothing's going to be working on it for actually at this rate probably a year. But that's what a different story. What does Wi-Fi 6 even add? So it's probably just a standard at this point. Um, improved performance. Like they found a faster way to uh, get yeah. you some bits through the air. Yeah, we could always click on the. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it adds much. It's the same thing as higher yeah. data rates. Increased capacity, performance in environments with many connected devices, and improved power efficiency. Which is actually, we do need, uh, this is the unfortunate thing about the uh, all the Wi-Fi smart devices. Yeah, the IoT is that things. They need to go to this, otherwise people are going to start getting annoyed, because it's bad enough that a lot of the Wi-Fi stuff goes with, you know, uh, 2.4. Yeah, so that if you ever turn on your microwave or if you still have a wireless cordless phone. Yeah, it might interfere with it. At my house, like, my house is up on a hill at the end of a street. I'm pretty far out there alone, but I still have, like, 10 or 12 Wi-Fi networks that I can see. Yeah. And then I have all those wireless devices and smart things and everything in my house, and so I can only imagine how much, like, RF noise there is. And a lot of, like, I know the PS4 console, at least when it first came out, was still only 2.4. They didn't have 5, which, yes, annoys me still to this day. Yeah, there's all sorts of things that they actually... And that's the, I think that's one of the other reasons why I don't support the... And I think my TV I just bought also only supported 2.4. Yeah, the, actually, the, the I decided to, to disconnect my TV from my wireless, even though it's, it's smart-ish. Yeah. Because there's such, the TV is such a hard device to upgrade, and if you're not using its software or its features, you're not going to think about it. And usually, you that's one of those devices you have to manually update. Which means mm-hmm. it's a giant security hole along uh, with your printer. <laughs> well, yeah, one of our coworkers, uh, their father in law, I think, um, their TV had Android built into it and mm-hmm. it decided to update one day and it bricked itself. Ooh. Yeah, so I mean, I could, that, not that would actually your suck TV too. could yeah. be a security uh, issue. Mm-hmm. Keep it safe, you know? Yeah, I disconnected it from the. I actually, which was really hard to do. I couldn't just like go and go like, oh, forget this network. I actually had to like re- manually, or I had to reset my TV. I'm like, well, that's a thing. At least it's not on the Wi-Fi anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Having to reset your TV, like that's that's an interesting concept. <laughs> Got to reboot it sometimes. I, I really wish that they would just sell dumb TVs and you could just plug whatever your like they do. device of choice no, is. They do. They're so much cheaper. I actually have found a couple of them, and I actually am going, and they're so much cheaper. Where, so... where where are you finding these? Because I sent my grandma to the store, and she was like, do I need to get smart features? And I was like, no, we will throw a Roku on it for you. Just get the dumbest TV you can. She came back, and it had a built-in Roku. <laughs> she asked them for the dumbest TV they had. It was It's a, it's a 43-inch TCL, and it has mm-hmm. it's like the cheapest display you get. I think she spent 230 bucks on it for 43-inch, and it came with a Roku built-in. So I over I say so since we got a Chromecast for uh again the free you know all these fancy things that I get for free or cheap we decided to get a smaller TV for uh, room with nothing we didn't want anything with it mm-hmm. 
well, I'll admit, was very difficult, but found like I think it was like a uh I forget. Let's say like a twenty five, maybe a thirty two inch. So so it's almost like a like a computer monitor? Yeah. Well, it's, it's a little bit bigger than a computer monitor uh, type of thing, or about that size. And there was a bunch of them this size. All of them had plenty of, you know, built-in whatever versions. We happened to find this one. It was, It is in 4K. It was hard to figure that part out. Or it does have 4K, which is kind of weird. <laughs> uh, but it was. we figured that part out afterwards. I we were just after, like, don't have any features. So it exists. On the other side, though, during the holiday, we got a 65 inch with no features either because they're we're giving away to a grandparent with no internet. That that's beautiful though. Like, it, and it was just, like two hundred dollars. Yeah, just being able to plug something into it. Like, I don't want all the the fancy features. I don't care about the the integrated stuff. I don't want to figure that out. I want mm-hmm. to slap a Roku on it or a integrated. Chromecast and go. The integrated stuff's also usually really slow. Yes. Yeah, it's way slower than that Chromecast. Plus, you can upgrade the Chromecast in a year when the new one comes out. Mm -hmm. You don't want to have to replace your entire TV. Mm -hmm. Those things add up, especially if you get the one with the smart features. What really aggravates me about TVs nowadays, though, is that they have, like, two HDMI ports. Oh, yeah. They (laughs) have, like, HDMI 1 and 2 on the side. Yeah. Yeah. What was it? 2.5 is coming out? No. Well, no. He's saying saying just two physical ports. Oh, I I thought you were talking about the versions also. Because there's usually, like, I have one that's, this one supports uh, HDMI. This one supports the higher quality HDMI. I'm like, really? Yeah, the uh, the yeah. thinner and thinner TVs, That's that well, seems to be a trend. Like, I don't really care. Like, I, I don't think I've found myself wanting a thinner TV since they've not been CRTs. But yeah. people so, expect a sound bar now because so, they have those crappy thin speakers in the TV. Well, they point, probably have a sound towards bar. the wall. And new, then new the tab, sound please. bar has more ports. Hmm? New tab. So okay. this goes back to whenever we were talking about the LG rollable TV. You know how they were talking about the wallpaper TV? Yes. And you thought it was that one? It is not. So I guess that, just so LG wallpaper TV. Just Okay. So I've, I've, I've seen these TVs and it's they like roll a up. Four, no, no, no. This one isn't the roll-up one. No, this is the Lick and Stick TV. <laughs> lick and Stick? It, yeah. It, <laughs> basically, it's like four millimeters wide. And the control box is this thing. It's not the ad. <laughs> no, it's the speaker bar, and you plug everything into there. Yeah, I, I, I've really seen the rollable TV. Oh, that's the roll-up one. I kind of like the idea of the rollable TV because it it could come in a sound bar essentially. You unbox yeah. that thing, set it down, and it just pops up when you're using it. And so I like that go. one more, but I don't. I don't think they sell the wallpaper one, or if they do, it was like eight thousand dollars, but. Yeah. See that one was cool because it just went on the wall and you didn't think it was really uh like it could look like a picture. Yeah, Samsung has a TV that they're pitching that way. Um it has a daytime mode or something and you just hang it on the wall and it'll it'll uh it's an OLED or AM oh, yeah, OLED or something. Um so it's low energy, only the pixels that are on are actually on oh, and uh, it's it displays as like a clock or you can just have it display as artwork. And then they have bezels that you can get for it that look like a frame. Aye. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's it's a pretty classy TV. TVs are hit with this, too. They can't release until they get the government uh, approval for yeah, the Yeah, well, their... this came out, like, a no, long no, time no. ago. No, pretty much everything at CES that has any type of wireless. This was at CES. Type... It has to, yeah, it has to accept interference. This was and it has to well, be uh, No, this isn't the roll one, though. This no, is the roll. This was at CES, too. Well, so look, see when that one was posted. This video, that video oh. was posted in two, 2017. So they've been talking about it for a while. Well, I mean, he got it in box, like he unboxed it. The name of the, oh. the YouTube channel is called Unbox Therapy. So they gave him something. <laughs> yeah, they, they did. He didn't buy it, but I think he told me, like he said, like in the video that it was eight. Ooh, there's 8, a 000. seventy-seven inch version. Yeah, they're big. <laughs> Dang. Not I as mean, big as the 115. It, it, it makes sense was. though, because these TVs are getting so big, and like a lot of people have small cars. Like, yeah. I mm-hmm. like oh, I, yeah. I luckily have a truck. No, actually, so they're I getting can, rid of small cars. I can throw a big TV in it. Gas if I is need too to. good. Gas, gas is gas getting going cheap, down. so we're they're getting a big to, car. Yeah, again. we're going back. Humvees we're, haven't we're come regressing. back yet. Yeah, but it's, it's just like the early 2000s. It, yeah, it's, it's a bad plan. I mean, Idaho does that thing where uh, every time gas gets cheaper, they slap some tax on it so that. When it goes back up, you don't notice. Mm, yeah. So the soundbar on this no, is kind of interesting. It's when it goes back down, you don't notice. Oh. oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is your... 
Yeah. Touch of class. Oh, that's that's his. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of those nice fancy TVs. Actually, I saw one which I can't find. It's a piece of glass, so it looks like you just have like whatever is inside this case, and then the glass turns on and shows the TV. So it's basically oh the see through one. Yeah. Uh, open up YouTube. <laughs> Go to Linus Tech Tips. The what? Linus Tech Tips. Like a spell, I could type. And then go to YouTube. And that's his channel. Oh. Rain out of a uh, show. Well, we can uh, Googling. do some more editing magic. More editing magic. You you are requiring a lot from me. <laughs> no, uh, you just, oh, you for just, the yeah, editing you magic? just pause it. Ready? Uh, so that's, yeah, that's it. So, you re- so, so this is a different TV, but still really cool. It, it's see-through like glass, but it's still a TV. So you can see through wherever there's not an image actively. Yeah, so that that's what. So yeah, you, you were uh, when we weren't recording. That's what I was like. We got to totally get back on this. Yeah, it would be interesting to have your front window to be this, and basically you st- are staring at your front window, and anybody coming by just lo- is looking in at you, and you're just like, like Why they're, are they they're like waving at you, face? and you're just oblivious in whatever Can't even see oblivion it. game. Yeah. <laughs> Because it's kind of a one-way TV, right? So, yeah, yeah, so is. you can only see the image from one side. You of can it. see ghosting sometimes, but only on so, like stuff that's like really dark. But I mean, they'll yeah. perfect that eventually. Bill can have his creepy front window at some <laughs> point. No, I yeah. The neighbors think I'm watching them, but no, I actually am not. <laughs> no, I was more thinking like uh, I don't know, like you know how in the Hunger Games, how whenever Katniss goes to the Capitol and the screens, the wall can change colors and. Like two right. different scenes. I was thinking kind of something like that. Like that be like my dream room because it would be nice to just like I'll be all of a sudden in a forest or something. Yeah. So I also admit that this <laughs> though does would kind of suck with is that the oh this one? Th- this no. is a different one. This oh. is a this is a uh, QLED from Samsung and they just they just have it like a picture on the wall and it just displays the time and it looks like part of the wall or the room or almost kind of even like a, maybe a whiteboardish thing. Yeah. It yeah. Just, it just looks nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So because of this also, I noticed that where they don't have the black behind it, so that would might kind of, my idea might not work as well. Because you can see that if there isn't something solid behind, it kind of fades a little. Yeah, the idea is to use this for, and like you can see it in the, like in the very beginning of this, they had some jewelry in the back of it. It's for, it's, it's intended for a store window, like uh, for window shopping. So So really, you can only have your creepy window at night. Yeah, like you could watch yeah. it, but it'd be pretty washed out. Yeah, it's it's intended for a storefront display. Interesting. So I don't think this will be consumerly available soon. That's terrible. but you might start seeing it in man this shops. kind of this kind of tech could make uh, like you know how sensors go into cars and they just keep getting more and more expensive. Like mm-hmm. you got a rain sensor in your window, and now your window's a thousand bucks when you break it. Man, when you get a, a an LCD window that has the heads up display in it, like if you crack that thing, it's gonna be spendy. Insurance. Yeah. <laughs> that is what it's for. It's not LCD. It's OLED. Oh, OLED. LCD is so last year. No, actually, so OLED. It, it have to. This would have to be OLED because yeah. it, LCD wouldn't work. Yeah. yeah. Actually, Apple mm-hmm. is apparently is having issues with their LCD provider too, so they're moving towards OLED on all their future devices. Along with that. The AirPods 2 are getting ready to come out, and they're supposed to have... They haven't released what it is yet, but they're talking about putting in sensors in sensors there. Sensors in the AirPods? Yeah, so yeah, more sensors. Look, heart rate, pedometer. That That's pretty cool, actually, because you can pair them with your uh, Apple Watch, right? And then mm-hmm. you could leave your phone at home or something. Yeah, you can pair them. And so then you could get all of your, your data from your jog or whatever mm-hmm. without having to take a phone with you. So that's that's really nice. Well, you can get that from your... Fitbit. Fitbit. <laughs> but then you have to have a Fitbit, your AirPods, and your Apple Watch. So you're wearing like two watches and your earpods. I don't see the problem with wearing two watches. <laughs> I don't have both of them on right now there, because there, I left it on the charger. I found the problem. <laughs> <laughs> what time? Hello, Mr. P. Let me check. My left watch says it's one minute behind no, my no. right watch. The, the problem is you'll forget one. <laughs> yeah. <I know. laughs> no, I haven't forgot both of them yet. 
in one day. <laughs> but plus, I mean, if if you forget your uh, Apple Watch and you have your Fitbit and your earpods, they don't really connect and it's not very useful for you. You can count your steps, but you don't get any music. See, no, that's what I like about my Fitbit. My Bluetooth connects to my phone or my watch. Thing that sucks about this. And I can store music on my watch. Yeah, see, yeah. So that's, that's pretty slick. But do you, can you connect AirPods to it? Can't connect. It's an Apple device. I don't have an Apple device. Okay, wait. I have an Apple device. That's a different story, though. But <laughs> they only connect to Apple devices. Right. No, they don't. Oh, they connect to? They connect to anything that's Bluetooth. They just seamlessly connect to other Apple devices. Oh. Like, okay. I can. I admit, that slightly intrigues me because I admit they are so, pretty nice. So a, l- <laughs> a small little spiel on that. Worried about losing them. Small little spiel on that is you pair it up to your phone. And it's really easy to pair it up, and then it's available on anything that's signed into your iCloud account. So if you want to use it on your Apple Watch, you just click the button here, disconnects from your phone, connects to your Apple Watch. If you want to use it on your iMacs or your MacBook Pros or your MacBook Airs or your iPads, okay. so Apple, you just click on the integrates really well. Yeah, so, it just so, integrates really well. So Apple grabs like the Mac address off of it and yeah. like the passcode, basically, and it gives it to all your other devices so they can pair automatically. Other cool thing about it is if you only want to have one in at the at the time. It still works. Okay, no, no. Okay, so a lot of them are doing that. Can you choose which one? Because that's what the problem. What do you mean problem. choose? Do I want the left ear button or do I want the right yes, ear button? Yes, you can. Yeah, you can choose. My my cousin, he I like switch switches off, two. and okay. every once in a while, he'll just like be like, "Hey, you want to listen?" And then he'll like pull the other one out of the case for well, me. No, yeah, you can do that because a, a lot of uh, Bluetooth headphones or earbuds will have that where you can. Uh, instead of having uh, surround sound or mm-hmm. or a dual channel on it, you can turn them both into single channel, so uh, both sides hear the same thing, so you can share it. But a lot of headphones, the left ear, the right, let me read it. The right earbud is what has the Bluetooth device, while the left earbud has additional storage or stuff that to help it work better. Well, those so are if they're wired together, though. Yeah. So this one is both. I have a pair that kind of does does that. Interesting. <laughs> now these ones is just they both like there. I think there's three Bluetooth radios. They have one on the left oh. ear, one on the right ear, and then one on the charging pod. Okay, that's not shabby. So answer your question. Yes. What was your question again? This question was: Do AirPods connect to my Fitbit? The answer is yes, according to you. As it's long as your Fitbit can pair with Bluetooth devices. Yes, my and Fitbit. My, I can then listen yes. to my music from my Fitbit. Probably. And I think it's even... Uh, I can't get I it to... Bluetooth 5. I tried getting the AirPods to connect to my computer at work, and my Bluetooth is just a little USB stick that I yeah. bought, so that's probably to do with it. It wouldn't work. <laughs> but that's not the first time I've had problems with Bluetooth on that computer. But you said I could connect Bluetooth to non-Apple devices. Yes, you can. So maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on what's in the two, I might get the two. Yeah, I know that's still coming out, so there's the information on that. Yeah. So we got through like three cards. And we added stuff. We just randomly chatted we about things. We added a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah. So you know, we, we, we talked about a card. <laughs> we talked about a show note item. We, uh, talk, we talked about two. We talked three. about that one, and then we ignored yeah, it. We talked about these ones. The definition of the word yonder. Yeah. We did yeah. talk about the definition of yonder, and then that was it. Yes. Over yonder. Oh, wait, we, we could throw that. We did talk about that. You know, oh, yeah, just barely. Just we, kind of. We talked about uh, pirate MMOs. Pirate oh, yeah. MMOs. That, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, you might want to add that. We covered a lot of ground. We never actually that. said the name of the game, but it was uh, Sea of Thieves. Is that I it? I said the name of the game. I yeah. don't know if you ever did. Pirate game? How many said that? Yeah, you, that's all you said. All right. <laughs> that's all I said. I, I just spell Thieves. I'll, I'll correct it in the no, show. No, it's... <laughs> I'll correct it in post. You're so close, though. You're only missing one. You one have letter. an extra letter. I'm just missing I. I'm just, I am just missing I. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the eyes. The eyes do not have it. Oh. Okay. I think I should end this. <laughs> this is going on long too. All right. Uh, famous last words. Bill, go. Uh, I'm gonna do it because I didn't do it last time. Okay. So do you realize that. About this time, Michael Jackson probably looks like he does on Thriller <laughs> or from Thriller. Joey, what's your famous author? Uh Geeks are wireless. Uh, all your air belong to us? I don't know. Sure. <laughs> you should cut that.